Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the electrical power transmission course. Today I am going to explain how much additional power will be supplied when DC two wire system is replaced with three phase three wire AC system. This is a very interesting topic. Before going to solve it, just consider the theory as below. Suppose a DC two wire distribution system is required to be converted into AC three phase three wire system by adding a third conductor of the same size as the two existing conductors. Now, how much additional power in percentage can be supplied or transmitted by the three phase system at unity power factor? If the operating line voltage and percentage line losses remains same in both system, to find its solution, let's assume that I1 is equal to DC current, I3 is equal to three phase current, R is the resistance of each conductor, cosine of phi is the power factor of three phase system. Now, first we are going to drive the expression for percentage line loss of DC two wire system. We know that power transmitted in DC two wire system is given by P1 is equal to V into I1, and the line loss in DC two wire systems are given by 2 into I1 square into R. It may be noted that here 2 is used because DC system uses two wires. Now percentage line loss is given by the following expression. Now we are going to drive the percentage line loss expression for three phase AC system. We know that power transmitted in three phase three wire AC system is given by P3 is equal to square root 3 into V into I3 cosine of phi. The line losses in three phase three wire AC system are given by 3 into I3 square into R. Here, 3 is used because of three phase system. Now, percentage line loss for three phase AC system is given by the following expression. At this stage, we have derived the necessary expressions for both systems. Now, we can find the percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system. As we have assumed that both systems have the same losses, Therefore, we can compare both losses as below. Simplifying the above expression, we get the three phase current equal to 2 upon square root 3 into I3 cosine of phi. Putting this expression of three phase current in three phase power expression, we found that P3 is equal to 2 into V I1 cosine of square phi. Now, additional load transmitted will be equal to the difference of two powers as below. It may be noted from the above expression that in case of DC two wire system conversion to three phase AC system, the additional power supplied is dependent upon the power factor. Therefore, additional load supplied will vary with respect to power factor. It means that we have to calculate percentage additional power separately for different power factors. First, I am going to calculate additional percentage power at unity power factor. For unity power factor, cosine of phi is equal to 1. Putting this value in the following expression, we get additional load transmitted is equal to 2 into V into I1. Now, percentage additional load is equal to P3 minus P1 divided by P1 into 100. Putting the values of P3 and P1, we can find the percentage additional load as below. It can be noticed from the above expression that if a DC two wire system is replaced with three phase three wire AC system at unity power factor, the percentage additional power supplied will be 100%. Now, I am going to calculate percentage additional power at 0.95 power factor. By putting the power factor value in the following expression, it is observed that when a DC two wire system is replaced with three phase three wire AC system at 0.95 power factor, the percentage additional power supplied will be 80.5%.
Similarly, the percentage additional power supplied at 0.9 power factor will be 62% and at 0.85 power factor will be 44.5%. Whereas at 0.8 power factor, this percentage additional power supplied will be 28% only. At this stage, we have derived many useful findings. We can use these findings to directly determine the percentage additional load, additional power in magnitude at various power factors without solving those problems. You may take any example from any book about the DC two wire system conversion with three phase AC system. These observations will be valid for all those examples. To justify this, I am going to apply these findings on following sample examples. Suppose, look at this question. Just focus on the highlighted words. It says that a DC two wire system is to be replaced with three phase system at unity power factor. And we have to determine the additional percentage power supplied. Now, can you guess the answer without solving it? Yes. Without solving this question, we can directly say that the percentage additional power supplied will be 100% of the DC two wire system. It is because in DC two wire system conversion to three phase AC system at unity power factor, the additional power supplied is 100% of the original power. This technique is very useful in solving the MCQs based test for job interviews. Now, let's apply these findings on other examples. Suppose, if previous question is repeated and you are asked to calculate the percentage of additional load that can be transmitted by the three phase system at the 0.95 power factor. And I ask you to don't use calculator and tell me the answer without solving it. Is it possible or not? Yes, it is possible. Because we know that the percentage additional power supplied at 0.95 power factor will be 80.5% of the DC to wire system. Just imagine how much time is saved by applying the above smart tips. Let's further apply these smart tips to solve another example as given below. Just look at the highlighted words which says that when DC to wire system is supplying a load of 100 kilowatt and is to be replaced with three phase AC system. How much additional load at 0.9 power factor will be supplied in that case? Again without solving it and using the smart tips derived in this lecture, we can directly tell the answer that additional load supplied by three phase system at 0.9 power factor will be 62 kilowatt. It is because the additional power supplied by three phase will be 62% of the actual power supplied by DC two wire system. Therefore, these smart tips helps a lot in solving all these questions, especially in MCQs type test. At this stage, I want to conclude this lecture and highlight the main findings. In the nutshell, when DC two wire system is replaced with three phase AC system, following main points are observed. Number 1. The percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system is dependent upon the power factor and goes on decreasing as power factor decreases. Number 2. The percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system at unity power factor will be 100% to that of DC two wire system supplied power. Number 3. The percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system at 0.95 power factor will be 80.5% to that of DC two wire system supplied power. Number four, the percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system at 0.9 power factor will be 62% to that of DC two wire system supplied power. Number five, the percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system at 0.85 power factor will be 44.5% to that of DC two wire system supplied power. Number six, the percentage additional power supplied by three phase AC system at 0.8 power factor will be 28% to that of DC two wire system supplied power. 
these are the smart tips you can apply it to any problem related to dc two wire system conversion into three phase ac system conversion to save your time that's all for today's lecture friends i upload many videos based on various topics of power system and motivation on regular basis therefore don't forget to subscribe my channel in order not to miss my latest videos and don't forget to share my videos with your friends and class fellows so that they can also get benefit from these videos thank you very much